Kidoba Nick, been with Kudoba Casper. Uh, the first store opened in 2012, August 28th of 2012, and that's Kidoba East. And uh, Kidoba West launched in March of 30th, 2014. And still running them, and we're still open, even considering all that's happening with this uh, coronavirus uh, hiccup or bump in the road, I should say. So we're and, live. We're and you, yep, and you've developed like some family um, family packages for people to pick up if they don't want to cook every night. So it's actually great because it's tons of food, right? Yes. Yeah, so last week I came up with a four for forty, and then a six for sixty to feed all those families that were tired of cooking, tired of hunting for stuff in the grocery store. We came up with that. Everybody was doing it. There's some great restaurants in town that were doing that. And uh, with a little nudge of my wife to make sure I'm doing that, I did it. And it was against Qdoba's uh, wishes. And then, uh, which is great. I'm doing it anyways, just to feed those families. But I'll tell you that Qdoba Corporate just went live yesterday with a family meal deal. It's fantastic. And it's even cheaper than my family meal deal that I was offering to customers. So that's great. So you can actually get that on live at Kidoba.com or on your app. Just order the family meal deal. It'll print up in our stores. It'll give us, uh, I think we have a 30-minute lead, lead time to get it ready for you. And you get a choice of, you get cilantro lime rice, black beans, choice of chicken. So you can get chicken or steak. Um, and it feeds up to four to five people. And that that price point, I think, is $34.99. And I'm not that awesome. for the chicken. And so $39.99. 99 I believe, is for the steak if you choose that. Uh, it comes with chips and queso and all the fixings, the salsas, cheese, etc. So it's fantastic and is easy. And I think if you were, uh, if you saw some of the photos, I took a photo and put it on our Facebook page and just kind of showed the the spread. Uh, it's pretty much that. So it was on it was on our live advertisement. I took it off of Facebook and put it on our website because I thought it was real good. Yeah, well, listen, that was that was a Snapchat to give Snapchat a shout out. That was a photo from Snapchat when I did the spread and we were fabulous. It was great. So, so kudos to Snapchat for making that available to us in the world. <laughs> what other kind of meal deals do you have? So that's the only meal deal. I, we pretty much pulled my meal deals, the four for 40. Okay. Uh, yesterday was the last time we did that. Everybody, we highly recommend going out and doing the family meal deal. Uh, online or through your app, so much easier. Um, if you are not a, a family and just need a, a, a quick meal, you're tired of cooking for yourself uh, and maybe another guest or something, you can certainly order online at kidoba.com. You can choose curbside pickup and uh, or pick it up inside the store. Prepay, we're not having to fiddle with the cash and the credit card. Less risk of anybody getting sick at this time. So it's a nice little deal for us. And then uh, coming to the store, we can't have more than five guests uh, in the store at any time. And so and we've never had more than five, to be honest with you, in our stores. Um, that, uh, you know, so we don't have that issue. It's been that slow. And I'm sure a lot of restaurants are, are feeling that, uh, that, I guess, bump in the road. And we'll get through it, of course. Yeah, it's interesting. I was talking to some I was talking to somebody yesterday about adapting to the change that we're we're in and how important it is. And you seem so positive. So I'm glad that I that that I had you on here because I think that that's I mean, all of it, all of us are going to have that time that we're just a little rattled, but it still is important to just kind of be positive throughout the whole day. Yeah, it's it is tough. I can tell you that, you know, I've got two stores and it's just me as the owner. Um I've got to make sure that every one of my employees has a job. And that's probably my biggest uh, issue right now is just making sure that, you know, we've had to cut back on hours. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had to tell a lot of the high school kids and college kids that I'm sorry, but we're going to have to cut back on some hours here. We're really trying to make sure that the, the, the staff that we have that have rent to pay, they have a mortgage, they have mouths to feed that we're making sure we're doing everything on our end to make sure that they're getting those hours. Uh, and people don't realize, especially in Casper, how many restaurants are here serving the Casper community? Every one of those restaurant owners deserves credit. Every one of those employees working in those restaurants deserve credit because they're going through a major change right now to feed mouths. 
Uh, Qdoba has a great standard of, of the washing your hands and the changing your gloves and that sort of thing. All the other restaurant, uh, restaurants in town do the same, and they, and they deserve a lot of credit. We need to give them is, you know, I'm a local owner of a franchise, right? So it's a corporation. I'm still the local owner. And, you know, I want to make sure people know that. And I want to give back to the community and make sure that we're taking care of those in need. Um, you know, last week we fed Joshua Storehouse. Uh, we're going to try to help everybody when we can because, you know, everyone's hurting. And uh, we don't know what to expect. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm predicting um, that maybe we're going to lose some restaurants. We've already lost a few in Casper. And uh, we may lose more. And, and I hope and pray that that doesn't happen. I hope we get through this. And I think with the, with the strong will and, and the dedication of the Casper people, uh, even, even the folks that live outside of Casper from Douglas and stuff are coming to Casper and they're supporting the restaurants and stuff. We see mm -hmm. a lot of familiar faces and they're just asking us how we're doing. Um, and so I appreciate all that support. And I really, really want to say that I think that uh, those of you out there that love to not cook, make sure that you're kind of sharing that, uh, that restaurant for, I guess, purchasing, feeding your families, spread it around because there's a lot of folks that are working their tail off to make sure that they're serving the Casper community. There's a lot of great restaurants and, and I hope, I hope that we are on that list of great restaurants for Casper. You are. You are good. My kids, my right. kids are, you're like their favorite spot. Well, they're, they're, we appreciate it. We're, you guys are helping us keep our lights on and, and keeping those, uh, the staff that I have, uh, they're getting a paycheck, which is great. And, and they're happy and, and you'll see them working hard. Uh, we, we get, we get punched in the face sometimes and I, and, and we definitely see it on Facebook too. And we hear you loud and clear and, uh, we want to do everything we can to make sure that we're taking care of the Casper community the right way. But I do want to say, I'm sorry if we've ever inconvenienced anybody during these times where we have, we, I love when someone wants to tell us what we need to do better because a complaint to me is a gift of what we can work on for the future. So that's, that's the takeaway for me. Anytime a customer, give us feedback. I hear a bell. Yeah, it's my, I, I don't know how to turn off my um, text messages. So they're ding, ding, ding. Anyway. I thought, like, Nick, your time is up. We're done. No, it's not. It's not. We have plenty of time, but I, I think it's, I, I've been saying this as well. Um, and again, I get frustrated and I get down too, but we got to give each other a grace during this time and we got to take care of each other. I probably say it every day, every day at four o'clock when I talk to people, you know, call the person that call your neighbor, make sure they're okay. Call the elderly person that you know from church or. Right. Um, and I, I think it's really important that in this time we take care of ourselves, but we also help take care of other people. Right. Yep. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. It's, I've never, ever had to deal with anything like this in my entire life. It reminded me of when I was running a restaurant in Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, when 9-11 hit. I felt like we got punched in the face and knocked on our teeth and didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, and it took, and, we, and, and America rebounded pretty quick. It wasn't maybe six months, and we were back in the game again. Mm -hmm. uh, this feels like it, just a lot different, of course. We've got that unknown um, mm -hmm. and hopefully, you know, we try to watch the, I try to watch the news and pay attention, but I uh, a little bit other things I need to worry about. And it's the mm -hmm. Casper community and my family, my team. Uh, we can only control what's within our surroundings and our, in our, you know, we got to take care of our families. I think staff, family, roof over your head, keep your business, your doors open, your lights on. And uh, I know the government's doing everything they can to help us. And we appreciate that. Um, we just need to keep stepping and stay positive. And, and I try to do that as much as possible, even when I'm feeling the pain, yep. uh, I know that you know, if, if it could be a lot worse, you know, and, yeah. and I always find myself, I could have the virus, mm -hmm. and that's what I'd be dealing with. And that's a whole nother world. I don't want to wish that on anybody. And I know that's tough for those who have it. Yes, definitely. So people can order online. Yeah. And, but they're not calling you, right? Or they could call you. They could call us. It's, you know, we, we have some folks that do not have the uh, ability to hang out with the uh, technology very long. They don't have patience. And, uh, you know, it's uh, my mom, I think my, I can say is one of those folks. Uh, they would prefer to call. Uh, but we'll, we'll take those, those phone calls. Just, just know that sometimes we may not be able to get that phone answered fast enough. And that's our goal. 
but you know, there's limited staff. We might be gloved up. We can't grab the phone right away. We try to return those phone calls as quickly as possible. It's so much easier to get online, phone, desktop, computer, go to kidoba.com, place your order. It's so simple. Mm -hmm. Your credit card and then, and then show up. The third party delivery service. I launched this, uh, a month ago, uh, because of the coronavirus, and uh, uh, we were already doing stuff with Lickety Split. So I got to give a shout out to Lickety Split. Kevin Dietz, our local owner of Lickety Split, is fantastic. Please use him; uh, he is great. We have Uber Eats and DoorDash that just launched, and uh, about a month ago, and they're fantastic as well. Uh, they've been helping out a ton. We've done, if I if I told you that eighty five percent of my business would be online orders. Third-party delivery. If someone told me that, I'd probably tell them they're crazy. That's what's going on right now. And so uh, we're trying to keep the doors open, pay our bills, pay our labor, uh, pay for the food that's being delivered. You know, the cost of goods sold stuff, super important, or they won't deliver our food. And hopefully they don't close the borders because then we will have restaurants closing temporarily. So okay. we have up on the east side, get up on the west side to serve the Casper, Casper community. And we're here to take care of everybody. And and keep in mind, you can come in the store. We get a lot of phone calls that are just those simple questions. You can come in the store. You can walk down the line, place your order. We highly encourage you, if you are sick, to just do the online deal. Um, we encourage if you have – sometimes we're getting high school kids that come in and they bring their friends. Only one person orders. Have your friends stay in the car. You come in and place your order. Because, uh, again, we're limited to five people in the store at any given time. And I just read that uh, we, they, uh, the governor signed an executive order about alcohol sales. So guess what Qdoba has? We have beer. We have White Claws right now. I don't have margaritas yet, but uh, I got to get that approved first. I got to call the Casper Law Enforcement to get that approved, and we'll be able to sell a Bud Light or a Corona or a Coors Light to you with your burrito and then send you on your way. So that is that is huge for us, and uh, we want to be able to offer that for our guests too. But stay tuned. We'll, we'll promote that on Facebook as soon as we're able. So let's get back to your food. Yes. What is, the, what is Casper's favorite order? Gosh, there's a lot. I can tell you that uh, cilantro lime rice, black beans, chicken, queso, Throw some fajita vegetables on it. Any of your salsas. We've got pico de gallo salsa. We have our corn salsa. Both are our mild. We have the salsa verde with tomatillos. A little more tart. Uh, medium in flavor. And then the salsa roja, which is my favorite. It's a great flavor. And then the fire habanero is the hot one. I can tell you, um, uh, backing up to the queso, we have two quesos to choose from. We have the three cheese queso. It's got poblano chilies in it, jalapenos, tomatoes, etc. It's fabulous, uh, and it is very mild. And then we have the Diablo queso, which scares people. It's really not that hot, um, but the name kind of spooks people out a little bit, thinking it's a, it's got quite a, quite a stink to it. It doesn't. The Diablo queso has basically a jalapeno that you smoke and dry. When you smoke and dry a jalapeno, it's called the chipotle chili. Okay, so uh, it, it's going to be a little bit more smokier. Um, a little bit more heat. It's got some red jalapenos as well. It's fantastic and it's so delicious. And I encourage people to put that queso on. Um, any of the salsas, shredded cheese, some romaine lettuce, some chopped romaine lettuce goes goes a long way. And then the hand smashed guacamole. I can tell you, uh, we have some of the best guacamole around. We I use agree. The avocados. They're so dang good. Mm -hmm. um, and it, you know, we get a lot of those orders. So a lot of queso chicken bowls, queso chicken burritos. A lot of times with no salsa, just that with some guacamole and out the, out the door they go. So they're all good. Uh, there's Everyone's got a favorite. There's a million variations you can create with Qdoba. So I'm sure everybody's got their, their fix. But I encourage you to, to extend your, your, your taste buds beyond that and try new things at Qdoba because that's what makes it great. The tortilla soup is great. And a friend of mine always calls it, you know, the hot tortilla soup. Uh, which is which is a veggie broth. So, you know, that's fantastic. You can put a scoop of the tortilla soup on any of your meals. And that's so, so freaking good, too. So can I say freaking? Yes. I think I can. I did. I already did 
too late. We're You're live. Over Nick. Of course you can. We're live now. It's too late. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite? You said your favorite um, salsa, but what what's your favorite? Like, if you were going to eat that for dinner tonight, what, what would you have? Yeah, so I've got a lot. You know, I, I <laughs> if, if I could show you my belly, you could tell that I eat a lot of Qdoba and I don't eat the healthy choices. But uh, my favorite sometimes is just getting a chicken quesadilla with pico de gallo salsa and a flour tortilla. And I'll get the uh, salsa roja on the side and I'll get the, the queso diablo. And I just take my quesadillas and dip it in the salsa or the queso diablo and eat it like that. It's a great, yeah, honestly, a great finger food meal for someone like me where I'm traveling from Qdoba East to Qdoba West. I'll get a quesadilla and I'll just, you know, do the best I can without making a mess and uh, enjoy it that way. So I, I like the quesadillas. Um, I like the mini bowls. I like tacos. I'm all over the place sometimes. Depends on the mood. I like the bowls. They're my favorite. Yeah. What my daughter likes too. And she has decided that she has um, graduated from the kids. She needs the full one. Yeah. So she, so that just doubled your uh, price tag. <laughs> all right. At least she's eating it. Right? Well, hopefully if you have a rewards card, you're getting all the benefits from that. So everybody in Casper should have the app or the rewards card because everything I send out two to three times a month, there is everything I send out hundred percent of the time. There's something that's free. Okay. So about 50 to 70% of the time when Kidoba corporate marketing sends stuff out, there's free items. So okay. there's tons tell, of us stuff. How that, tell us how that works. The rewards card. Yeah. So basically you, you earn points and, uh, when you scan your app or you scan your card at the register, it's going to prompt us to, you know, probe you for anything you want to choose for a free item. So if you want to redeem on your app, let's say a free entree, once it, you scan it, it's going to, if you ordered an entree, it's going to, it's going to ask us uh, to ask you, of course, if you would like to redeem that. So there's a lot of choices to do that. Uh, sometimes you'll get a, an anniversary when you registered your card or your app, you'll get a free meal for that. Uh, your birthday, uh, you get a free meal for that. Uh, you know, and, and it'll probe us to ask you those questions when you, when you get it. And then catering, we're doing a lot of catering. Okay. We haven't done a lot of catering the last two weeks. That has been a standstill. So we do do catering. Uh, so people need to know that if they're trying to feed a team that has been working their tail off. I know we're feeding a lot of uh, nurses and healthcare officials or, or, or medical staff, I should say. Um, we've been doing a lot of, uh, caters for them. They've been, uh, taking care of their team. It's been unbelievable. So, uh, and of course, a lot of, a lot of the law enforcement and stuff, we have a first responder rate in the stores for, uh, if they're, if they're a dispatch person, if they are, uh, uh, military men and women, uh, retired or active can come in and get a first responder rate police officers. So all law enforcement firemen, um, you know, and just to reiterate dispatchers. So people that you call nine one one to, those men and women are first responders in my book, and they can come in and get uh, their first responder rates. Okay, and that's six ninety five for a burrito or an entree. That's EM, awesome. Uh, EMTs, same thing. First responders, they 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 do it as well. So we'll get ambulances that'll pull up, and uh, and the team gets out, comes in, orders their food, and off they go. So so great respect for all those those folks that are actually out there dealing with the public who may be sick. Uh, and all the other issues that they're dealing with uh, uh, on a normal day-to-day -day basis, too. So we want to definitely take care of them. Awesome. Well, we are so glad that you came on here with us today. We hope it gave you a boost. And we will, well, it'll be, the replay will be on Facebook. So Fantastic. Alicia, thanks. And I hope your family is healthy and everybody's good. Yes, you too. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. See ya. Bye. Okay.